do you think people at home see politics as being something where there is constructive work going on between parties or, or does it look more like a sort of bun fight because i wonder you know i think the last election ended up being characterized as like oh, there's a sort of anti-tory feeling and it, and it led mm. to you know them losing seats to, mm-hmm. to you know the lib dems and to the labor even even a few to the smp but is it maybe that there's more of almost an anti-politics feeling growing you know it, it, we've had a change election if people feel like they're not seeing real change is you know could that end up bolstering anti-establishment feelings which are dangerous for all of you in politics i think i think there's definitely an element and risk of that i'm pretty sure i saw some electoral map that said basically bar about 20 seats um voter apathy uh, mm. would have would have won if that had been counted by those people yeah, that didn't choose, to, choose to vote yeah. and i suppose this comes back round to um the discussion we had at the start in terms of my background and come you know coming into politics that if we don't see that diversity in politics if we don't see supposed real people with different backgrounds and different viewpoints and different expertise, then people do feel a bit disenfranchised by it. You know, if I look at it from a North East Fife perspective, you know, Willie and I are, are a very strong team. You know, we're doing pop-up surgeries where we, you know, are outside the supermarkets on a Saturday morning for an hour speaking to people. And, you know, it has been interesting when I've been in other areas where, you know, to say it sometimes in North East Fife, people see a lot of us and I think that's a good and powerful thing, but other places where that just isn't the norm. And so, you know, you do have to, you know, that is, yes, what I do here in Westminster is important. And obviously my chief whip role is important, but actually my days in, in the constituency are the ones that are most vital. And, you know, right back to that question in terms of what I think of this job, the reason why I say it's the best job is is not about being here. It's about the things and the results that I, that, that me and my team uh, get for constituents.